how to route domain names to DigitalOcean's custom DNS, and how to add A-type DNS records with a www hostname. As you can see, I'm currently viewing one of my websites. This website has been uploaded to one of my DigitalOcean droplets. Droplets are what DigitalOcean calls cloud servers. So this website has been uploaded to the following IP address of my DigitalOcean droplet. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can point or route your domain name to DigitalOcean's DNS. So instead of the IP address, it will have your domain name and you'll have an A record of your choosing. In my case, it will be www dot with your domain name after. To do this, the first thing you'll need is a domain name. So I'm just going to click on my other tab here to be taken to my domain name dashboard. The domain registrar of choice that I use is called Namecheap. If you don't already have a domain name, you can register one using my referral link here. I'll put this referral link in the video description below so you can simply click on it. You'll get a hefty newcomer discount if this is your first time setting up an account with Namecheap. Once you've signed into your Namecheap account, you'll need to find your domain name from the domain list on the left-hand side. For this video, I'm going to be using webexplaining.com. Once you've found your domain name, to the right-hand side, click on Manage. Scroll down until you see where it says Name Servers. As you can see, the current name servers are Namecheap Basic DNS. You want to change this by clicking on the arrow right next to it and then clicking on Custom DNS. In here, we'll be adding DigitalOcean's name servers. DigitalOcean has three name servers. So what you'll need to do is click on Add Name Server here to allow for three name servers to be added to the domain name. Next, what we'll need to do is go to our DigitalOcean account and you'll need to spin up a cloud server called a droplet. If you don't already have a DigitalOcean account, again, you can use my referral link at the very top here. I'll put this in the video description below this will give you $200 free DigitalOcean cloud credit to try out DigitalOcean servers free for 60 days. Once you've created your DigitalOcean droplet, you'll find it in your DigitalOcean's resources underneath droplet. For today's video, we'll be focusing on my test-server droplet. This IP address of my droplet is the same IP address that I showed you at the start, which is where my website has been uploaded to. So my website is hosted on test-server. Once you've got your DigitalOcean droplet and you've got your domain name, what you'll need to do next is navigate to the top right-hand corner and click on create. You should see a drop down list. What we need is the service called domain slash DNS. This will route your existing domains. Click on it. You'll then be taken to networking. In the domains tab, look for where it says enter domain. You're going to fill in your domain name. In my case, it's going to be webexplaining.com. Once you've entered in your domain name, Click on add domain. Now scroll down until you see where it says DNS records. In DNS records, you can see DigitalOcean has populated this section with three name servers. The first one is ns1.digitalocean.com, ns2, and ns3. You wanna copy each of these name servers and paste them into your Namecheap name servers section. So I'm just going to do that now. So I'm going to click on copy next to ns1.digitalocean.com. I'm going to go back to my other tab here to my custom DNS section for my domain name, and I'm going to paste in the first name server. I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy NS2 and I'm going to go back to my Namecheap custom DNS section and I'm going to paste in the next one. And I'm going to do this for the third name server here. And there we go. We've got all three of DigitalOcean's name servers in our custom DNS section on Namecheap. All that's left to do now is click on the check mark symbol here to save the changes we have just made to our name servers for our domain name. And as you can see, we're greeted with a message which says DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. So it can take up to 48 hours for your domain name to be pointed or routed to DigitalOcean's custom DNS. So if it hasn't taken effect immediately, don't fret, it can take up to 48 hours. For this video demonstration, it will look rather quickly because this is a video demonstration. Once you've added DigitalOcean's name servers to your Namecheap account, all that's left to do now is to add a or some DNS records. To do this, go back to your DigitalOcean DNS records section and above DNS records, you should see hostname, will direct to and TTL. In the hostname section, you can add the subdomain or hostname that you would like your service or app such as a website to be pointed to. Most websites are on www. So I'm just going to type www in here. And as you can see, you get a preview of the address below. For the will direct to section, you need to select a resource or enter a custom IP address. So I'm just going to click in here. And in here, you want to find your digital ocean droplet that has your service or app on. In my case, it's a website and it's test-server at the following IP address 138.68.161.215. Click on it to select it. For the TTL, I'm going to leave it as default, and then I'm going to click on create record. Now, if we go to www.webexplaining.com, it will direct us to 138.68.161.215. So if I go back to my first tab here, and if I delete the IP address now and type www.webexplaining.com, 
and then hit enter on my keyboard, it should take us to our site, at the following domain name, just like the IP address of our droplet did. And there we go guys, it does indeed do that. And now just to show you before I end the video, that the IP address also takes us to our website, I'm just going to go back to my digital ocean droplet, I'm going to copy my IP address, I'm going to go back to my first tab here, I'm going to delete www.webexplaining.com, and I'm going to paste in the IP address, and then I'm going to hit search. And as you can see, it also takes us to our website, just like it did first time around. Great, so that pretty much concludes the video on how to route domain names to DigitalOcean's custom DNS and how to add A-type DNS records with a www.hostname. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so